Good evening and welcome to the Grade 10 comedic production of The Customer is Always Wrong by Ian McWethy. Our Grade 10s have been working hard over the last eight weeks preparing for this very moment. For many of these students, it is the very first time on stage in front of an audience. So feel free to laugh and applause because after all, it makes the actors feel appreciated and wonderful. From babysitting to waiting tables, working at the local movie theater, or being a burger restaurant mascot, this show will be extremely relatable and hilarious. So if you find something funny, don't be afraid to show your appreciation. Please remember that during the show in the Alumni Auditorium, we kindly ask you to please turn off your electronic devices as it may interfere with the audio and technical aspects of the show. So sit back, relax, and let the hilarious cast of The Customer is Always Wrong entertain you. So, I see that you don't have a lot of experience. Well, do you consider life experience experience? Uh, I guess not. No, not really. Technically, no, but uh, no, I don't. So why is it you think we should hire you? I'm a very hard worker. Such a very hard worker. I mean, there's no one that works harder than me. Technically, there is no one who works harder than me. Ever. What do you mean by that? I don't know. I don't know why I keep saying technically. I'll stop saying that. That'd be great, thanks. So, what do you think your biggest weakness is? That I work too hard. None. Can I say none? That sometimes I get so focused on my job that I don't see my friends or family. Ever. I would have to say that I am lazy. Sometimes. Wow, that's very honest. Sorry, was I supposed to lie? Well, most people do. Shoot! Look, I know I have a lot to learn. A lot. But if you give me a chance, I promise. I promise. I promise that I'll be the best waitress. The best box office attendant. The best nanny. The best pastor editor of flyers. If you just give me a chance. Just one chance. Just one. All I think is a chance. Well, we'll be in touch. Now, my personal assistant tells me that you came highly recommended from the service. Oh wow, that's good to hear. No, it's not. The child care service that you belong to, loving baby care, knows nothing of children, of the child's soul, of its mind's eye. Oh. So that is not a compliment. I've been through three nannies in four months from your so-called reputable company, and believe me, this is the last straw before I move on to another nanny. I have had it. Well, I understand how important this is. I have three younger brothers, so I know how to take care of kids. <coughs> brothers, you say? So, you understand the male prepubescent then? Uh, yes? <laughs> they are different, aren't they? Boys, boys, they're just so difficult. And dumb. I know that's not a very PC thing to say, all mothers should love their children unconditionally, but boys, I mean, they just fart and pee everywhere. And they're so loud and unpredictable. So, therefore, you have to be very, very structured and disciplined when it comes to my Benson. Let up for one second and they will turn your house into a... <gasps> no, Benson, we don't put our mouse on when he's $15,000 base, do we? No, down, Benson, down! Good, good, good. Now, go to your shaving corner and do your multiplication tables in your head until I say you can stop. All right, where were we? Uh, Benson's schedule? Yes, thank you. Most days are light. Synchronized swimming classes at 9, followed by music lessons at 10. Followed by no GMO, no gluten, no carbon, no dairy-free lunch. Followed by a nap, which should last precisely one hour and ten minutes. Followed by a reading of three to five non-denominational gender neutral stories from his reading shelf. Followed by toddler gymnastics. No peeking from the shame corner, Benson! Benson! No peeking! Shame corner! Shame corner! <laughs> Followed by a snack. Preferably something with kale, but on Fridays, we can make an exception. Well, this feels more intense than college. Sign me up. Sorry, that was a joke. No, I perfectly understood. 
did your poor attempt at improv comedy. Isla, you do understand that this is more than a job, don't you? This is the never-ending, soul-sucking marathon that requires your full attention because you never know what you might walk away from a shape putter! Good, Benson. I was testing you. Remind me to give you a kale chip after aerobics. I understand how important this is. Believe me, I know how precious children are. I'll do everything in my power to ensure Benson is cared for, educated, and loved. Very well, then. Perhaps I should give you a test of some sort. See how you interact with Benson for a few moments while I observe. Oh, okay. Should I introduce myself or? No. Benson is in a shame corner, shamefully multiplying. He is not available, so I will play the role of Benson for your little test. Oh, okay. So you want to like role play or? I'm a very committed actress when I put my mind to it. I am on the lead of our local community theater where I have played several esteemed roles in an array of esteemed theater pieces. Annie from Annie. Macbeth, Bye Bye Birdie, Uncle Tuna's Christmas in Hawaii. You will have no trouble believing that a 39-year-old woman can play a two-year-old toddler. Believe you me. Uh, okay, well... And the scene begins now! Ooh, my name is Benson. I get so much attention because I'm a little baby. Give me candy! No, I'm sorry, Benson, but you don't get a treat until after gym. At which point you may have a kale chip or an avocado slice. Ooh, but I want the high fructose gummy snack that I saw in a file that took me from my friend's house. Gimme, gimme! No, I'm sorry, Benson, but you're not allowed. But I want Benson, it! Benson, Benson, Benson! Benson, go to your shame corner now. Very good, Isla. I'll start you on a trial week. Fifteen dollars an hour. If you do good and we continue to use you as a nanny, you'll be paid seventeen dollars an hour. When can you start? Uh, today, I guess? Good. Now, go put on your dish gloves because it appears Benson has relieved himself in his shaving corner. Yes, Benson, I see the pee. Don't think that will get you out of your shaving time. In fact, it will double it. Times two, Benson, times two! I know it's only my second day working here, but I haven't gotten any luck of people signing up for this card. 
Of course you will. I think we're just having you cold call all these people for fun. There's plenty of fish in the sea, my friend. Yeah, but who? I mean, who in this day and age would buy a credit card based on a random stranger calling them? Plenty of people, Gia. Plenty. Yeah, but who? Well, there's the lonely and depressed. People who really just want to talk to someone will do anything to keep you on the phone. Um, well, drunk people. Drunk people sign for anything. That's why we have call centers open up 24 hours a day. And the elderly. Well, the elderly whose faculties aren't all there. I mean, they don't really know what they're doing, but if they're lucid enough to remember their social security number and home address, bingo! We got ourselves a customer. What? I know. Who'd have thought? Brianna! Well, hold on now. My mother's name is Brianna. I'm Bree, you know, like Bree cheese, the very delicious type of cheese that you eat, right? Yeah. Fine. Bree cheese. You're telling me that my job is to depress, impaired, and sick people and sign up for a credit card they don't even need? I like to think it less as tricking and more as selling, and people less as sick and more as open. Bree, this is horrible! Well, hold on now. I mean, how do you just cheery attitude and do this every day? You know what they say about smiles. Bree, seriously, this is a horrible place. There's no windows, and people yell at you, and there's nothing to feel good about. How do you? You just do it, okay? You just make your calls, hit your numbers. That's all it is. It's a good, normal, non depressing job. When it gets too much, you just go to a hypnotist who makes you feel happy all the time. Sure, it's not real happiness. You're coming up with cheesy little phrases that don't make any sense. But it's better than crying to yourself to sleep at night. Isn't that thought? Isn't it? <sighs> Anyways. Keep the calls up, holler if you need anything. Hi, my name is Gia, and I want to take a Mason name to get out, which is the Blues Reds credit card. Do you have a moment? Oh, you're in a nursing home. That's good, I guess. That's good. <laughs> Alexander Dreve. 
Sorry, I don't know what's with me. I, I keep missing you. Could you say it slower? Sure, no problem. One last time, all right? North? North, right, got that. Set yourself on fire! Street! Crap, okay, well, which is where you should go for being such a parasite in our society. Okay, but... My mother, who is nine years old, gets ten calls a day asking her about credit cards. She has a credit card. She does not need another credit card. Okay, well, if you just... So the next time you get the urge to call a poor elderly woman about such a crappy thing that she does not need, I suggest you look up the address I just told you about and go there for the rest of your life. Sad. I remember how I told you about my wife? 
You mean just now? Yes, just now. Pay attention, will you? Sorry. Like, I assume you won't want me saying anything about lightning strikes either? Uh, no, lightning doesn't bother me. Uh, but why would I be afraid of lightning? I'm not, I'm not a child. I just thought, because your wife, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. So, what can we do? Um, well, how about the comedy? Um, sure. Well, as long as they're not too vulgar, because I, I like to laugh, but not too vulgar. Okay, well, we have... And, 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 and I have nothing with sex. Uh, the sex of movies these days keep it in the bedroom. Right, well... And, and, and I don't want to see a fat guy fall down. Well, why is that funny? You should, you should lose weight, not be in a movie. Called Falling Next to You. It's supposed to be sweet, but I'm sure you hate romantic comedies too, so sorry. I've got well, nothing. Well, uh, why, why wouldn't I like that? Because so far you hate everything. Well, it's about love. But what's not to like? Alright, well, normally it's 1550. What am I buying? A car? Well, with max date prices and a senior discount, it comes to 825. Highway robbery. Back in my day, I could see a movie for only 10 nickels. Well, I don't set the prices. No, I guess you don't. But you should. Uh, fine. Here you go. You win. You know what, sir? Enjoy the show. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry to bother you again, but uh, how long was the picture? Two hours and two minutes. Oh, no, I don't know, I never watch a movie over 84 minutes. Uh, what else do you got? So. No! I know. Carrie's my server. She she knows my order. Oh, I see. Well, I'm her replacement. Oh, dear. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Well, it's my first day. Oh, dear. So, once I get my sea legs, hopefully I'll be as good as a server as Carrie. Doubtful. Very doubtful. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe. Carrie was something special. She was a very special server and a very special person. Okay, um... Can I get you something to drink? Carrie would never ask. She just knew. Yeah? I'd show up and she'd have in her hand, piping hot and ready to drink. Oh, that's nice. And I'd say, Carrie's here to warm me up. Yeah. And she laughed. I'm sure what she didn't think I said was funny, especially after so many times. But you know what? I could never tell. She was so genuine. Well, you know, if you don't tell me your drink, I can't get it for you, but then next week, I'll just bring it to you, without you asking, like Carrie did. I guess. And then maybe you'll get to know me as well as you do Carrie. Doubtful. Very doubtful. So, what do you want? A coffee? No. Do you want me to keep guessing, or...? Tea, Earl Grey, two sugars. Great. And would you like to go ahead and order your meal, or do you want me more time? <sighs> did Carrie just bring it out for you? Well, again... I can't bring it to you until you tell me, but next week I will. I don't even know if I'm even hungry anymore. Even seems kind of pointless if I would carry to bring it out to you. Look, man, it's my first day, and it's really important this goes well. My manager's watching, so can you just 
try to look happy? Is that even possible that like Carrie's gone? Really? I mean, how great could she have really been? Carrie's a saint and an angel. You don't talk bad about Carrie like that. Okay. Sorry. Look, I'll buy you lunch if you promise not to look so depressed and to actually order something, okay? Really? You do that for me? Yes, because I care about you being happy and having a good time. So, what do you want? I'll have three orders of oysters, the best steak you possibly have, the Caesar salad with a side of white truffles, the tuna steak, and all the sides. And will that be all for your free meal? Yep, thank you. Hey, man! How's it going? Why don't you mean to get us a free lunch? Do whatever I want because I'm gonna die soon. None is so stupid. I mean, being all the best. Yeah. I have traditional chairs in the basement if you prefer. Whatever makes you feel at peace. Well, if you're sitting on the floor, I guess I will. Wonderful. Close to the earth. Yeah, so what's your basic schedule? Like, when does she nap? Does she have any class I need to take her to? No, 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 no. What? We don't do that here. What do you mean? Impose a structure on her. Old rules free to be who she wants, when she wants, where she wants. Also, what she wants. So, then, what do I do? Gently guide her on her journey to be your authentic self, and most importantly, just be. Well, I think I can do that. I know you can. You know how? No. Because you already are. Uh, uh, oh, it, it appears it's a volume. Opal is awoken from her uh, midday slumber. Okay, would you like to observe us? No, 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 no I'll, I'll leave you two. Yeah, I really want you, you to bond and uh, yeah, she's all yours. I who are you? Uh Opal? Who the hell are you? I'm uh wait, you're Opal? Yeah. But you're like my age, aren't you? How old are you? Fourteen, what are you? No. Did my stupid dad hire as a babysitter? Yeah. Damn it, Dad! Dad, what the hell? Dad! Look, I was under the impression that no. Don't talk to me. I'm not taking orders from like my same age. Dad, stop hiring babysitters, you stupid hippie. If you got a problem with me, tell it to my face. Don't get some girl to do it for you. Grow a backbone, Granger. Go a damn backbone. I think there's been a misunderstanding. No, he does it sometimes. He's a big old wuss who rather meditate and fart than tell me no. Have you seen him meditate? It looks like he's farting. Every time he tries to meditate, he says, oh, are you farting? Looks like you're farting. How's the farting going? And then he gets all mad and he cries. And it's really funny. He's really stupid and he cries. Anyway, my dad sucks. I'm gonna take his car and drive to my friend Fish's house. My stupid fart that ass. Tell him I'm at Fish's. Wait, uh, just tell him I'm at Fish's, okay? Fish's! But how can you drive? You're only. Because I can do whatever I want. Don't tell me what to do ever, you stupid girl who I don't even know. I hate you. God, I hate you. So, uh, how did it go? What do you mean, how'd it go? She's 14. Did I uh, not mention that? No, you did not mention I'd be babysitting someone who's barely two years younger than me. And, uh, this is a problem? Look, I don't know what sick, weird family thing you had going on here, but I will not. No, 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 wait, please, please don't go. I just, I just, I just really want you to bond and, and, and care for each other. I can't, I can't, it's just so messy. 
stop. Just please don't leave me alone with her. If I'm raising a child with no rules or no boundaries of any kind would make a well-rounded adult. But I was wrong. I was so wrong. Please, I'll, I'll double your pay. You could use our car and eat our food. She's a monster. Opal's a monster. Opal's a monster. <laughs> Really, really 
fun. Lady, take it down move you already. Sir, there's no need to go. Hey, buddy, I'm going to be late for a hero man too. And I'm a hero man fanatic. And I need to know what happened to him in the next installment of the franchise. Well, there are kiosks right over here. So you can buy a ticket without waiting in line. I can't do that. My credit rating is five because of that damn Blue Express. OK, just give me a moment. Look, miss, I'm really going to need you to just pick me. All right, well, what do you have that's a kind of fun, serious, crowd-pleasing, serious period piece drama that's also in 3D? Oh, a blockbuster period piece drama in 3D. Would you also like half of it to be animated? Oh my gosh, yes! I love animation! Great! And while we're at it, maybe it could be subtitled in French for you? Oh, I was a French major. How did you know? It would be such a treat for me to brush up on my Francais. Oui, oui. Great. Well, that doesn't exist, okay? This isn't a madness. Just stop being difficult and pick a movie. Well, I never. All I asked for was a recommendation, and this is how I'm treated. Oh, no. You didn't just ask for a recommendation. You asked and welcomed and asked again, and when you finally picked a movie, you picked something that doesn't even exist. Well, maybe if you do your job and double check, you'll find something that's a serious, fun, crowd pleasing period piece that's also half animated in French. No! I won't! I need to say- ah! Well, I'm going to speak to your manager. He's yelling at me like this. This is not where movies come to live. This is where they come to die! So sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, give me one for Hero Man too. Of course. And thank you for having me with you. Yeah, of course. Are you showing an IMAX? We sure are. That'll be four dollars extra. Is that okay? For Hero Man? Absolutely. Can I get it to stream on my phone and my tablet while I watch it? I love Hero Man. Also, can I get a violence where all the swearing and violence is taken out? I don't like that stuff. Also, when there's an explosion, can my seat go shake, 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 shake? Yeah. What? Carrot, um, no lettuce, carrot face on the side, 
avocado, one quarter cup only, beets, two quarter cup servings, minced and also on the side. Thank you. Okay, well, that's kind of like our garden salad, so I guess I'll just minimize that. I'm assuming you don't want any cheese. Your assumption that I would not like to gain exactly five pounds directly into the area of my butt is correct. And no dressing. If I didn't want cheese, why the hell would I want dressing? You know what dressing is? It's fat. It's pure liquid fat. I'm sorry, I have to ask. A wedge of lemon would be fine. Okay, and just so you know, since you've substituted quite a few items, I'll have to charge you an extra two dollars. Is that okay? Oh my god, two dollars. Where will I find two dollars in my four thousand dollar purse? I guess I'll just have to put out my two thousand dollar blazer and go to the bank and ask for a loan to pay for my salad additions. I was just trying to be helpful. You're not being helpful. You're slowing me down. I have to be back in the office at, in 18 minutes. Look at my manicure and make the deduction that clearly I do not care if you charge me two extra dollars. Great. Well, your food will be right out. <sighs> yes, and one more thing. Yes? I was talking to my assistant. Oh, sorry. I'll... No, you ate too. There's one more thing I need from you. Okay, what do you need? <sighs> sorry, I was talking to my server. I am at Grady's. Don't. Ever. It's dreadful, it smells of sweat and cheap beer, and the staff is incompetent. Anyways, I need you to cancel my four o'clock this morning. I have to cancel the online accounting. Yesterday. Yes, on this birthday. Yes. 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 Bye. Yes. Don't yes me. I was on the phone. You should read some off the phone. But last time you said I didn't answer you quick enough, you. You put your phone down. My God, chipmunk. How hard is it for you to take orders, not interrupt people while they're on the phone? Why is this hard for you? Why, why? Because you're an awful person. Maybe the worst person I've ever talked to, and I have a name, Heidi, and it's not chipmunk. Why is this hard for you? 
Why do HSs find it so perplexing? Stop. Excuse me? Stop. Just stop, okay? I'm a human being and I will work hard to make sure that you and all the other tables are happy. But I'm not going to be talked down to like this, okay? I won't. I won't because I deserve your respect, okay? I do. I deserve it because I'm a person just like you. So can we just try this again, where I take your order and you eat your food in a polite and respectful way? Because I am not being paid enough to spend my lunch break crying in the bathroom. And frankly, I don't care if you eat here or not. So can we just try this again? Yes, I suppose we can. I'm sorry. Are you saying I offended you? Well, of course you did. not wouldn't be offended by what you just said. It's an awful thing to say. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Well, now you know. So, what can I get you? Um, just a salad, no dressing. Okay, perfect. And would you like anything to drink or anything? No, thank you. Um, uh, miss? Yes. I just wanted to say my first day at work, I was a nervous wreck. And I guess I forgot what that felt like. You're doing much better than I did. I think you're going to be integrated. Yeah. I think I might be. Ladies and gentlemen, can you please give it up for the cast of The Customer is Always Wrong. All right, let's hear it for Susanna Martins, Ryan Albert.